Hi everyone, Cat Cool here, back again with another video. Today we're back with some uh, Gran Turismo Sport, taking a brief look at the uh, version 1.25 update. Um, so, we've got the Red Bull Ring now, both configurations are uh, in the game. The short version and the full Grand Prix track, which is nice. Uh, it's nice to see this circuit back. Quite like this circuit, personally. Um, I do enjoy it. Anyway, so we start things off in the Volkswagen 1200, 1966. Uh, so let's get on the track and uh, and see how it is. Right, okay. Here we go, heading down towards the first corner. This, this car is basically an old Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, but just with a bigger engine, uh, I think. Don't don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, it it looks like nicely detailed. Um, you know, it feels okay. Only four gears, not very fast. It's just an M100 car. Uh, so yeah, but you know, it's a nice addition to the game. Um, so. You know, there's not really a lot else to say. His handling is quite, uh, you know, not too bad. That looks nicely detailed as well, I must say. Not the fastest car out the bunch that we've got this time. But never mind. You know, there's there is there is cars that are a bit quicker than this, well a lot quicker than this. Oh, only four gears. Right, anyway, let's uh let's move it on to the next car and uh we'll take a look at that. Right, so now we're in the Mini Cooper S 1965. This is a great little car, great addition to the game. It might not be very fast. But, you know, it's a car that's close to a lot of British people's hearts. You know, even though for some reason the game still says it's German. I, I, I have a feeling that's because, uh, maybe because BMW own the Mini uh, name nowadays. So, that's why it's not under British. But, it was a British car, uh, this particular one. But, yeah, really nice to see a classic. Uh, dashboard looks well done uh, and everything. I can see lots of people using this in the M100 class in races. It'd also be quite interesting seeing it in a few uh, sport races, I suppose. Uh, a, a, a grid full of minis. <laughs> But yeah, it's a uh, great little car. Feels good. You know, no surprises with the handling or anything like that. Anyway, let's uh, move on to the next car. Right, now we're in the Abarth 500 2009. Um, that's a bit of a strange noise to this car, I think. The engine sounds a bit... I don't know. It sounds a bit odd. But who knows, because I've never seen one of these cars in real life, so... Who am I to judge? <laughs> Feels not quite as grippy as the Mini. Uh, which is... I wouldn't say is obvious, because this is a small little car as well, but... It just doesn't feel as tight as the Mini. But quite a few M100 cars uh, come into the game in this update. Which is nice, because, you know, some M100 races can actually be quite close. And can be quite good racing, actually. But yeah, 
it's uh, it's a nice addition to the game anyway. You know, at the end of the day, we're getting all these for free, so you really can't complain about it, can you? Anyway, I've waffled on enough. <laughs> let's uh, let's move it on to the next car. Right then, on to the next car. Now, I've got to try and get this right. <laughs> it's an above 1500 Biposto Beartone BAT1. That's a mouthful and a half. Uh, from 1952. Another M100 class car. Um, I didn't even know this car. I, I don't even recognise it, to be fair, perfectly honest. Uh No, it feels all right. It's, you know, it's not that fast, but it's okay. You know, it feels okay. It handles all right. Is what I'm trying to uh, make the point of. See how it handles into here. Yeah, pretty well. I'm pretty happy with this car, it's alright. Hey, it might not be the fastest. How many gears has it got? Only four. Yeah, that's not really surprising from the year it's from. Yeah, not too bad. Another nice addition to the game. Right, anyway, let's move it on to the next car. Right, so now we're in the Lancia Delta Integrale Evolution. Uh, I think that's how you say it. Uh, from 1991. Oh, going a bit wide there. Yeah, this is an N200 class car. The only N N200 class car that's uh, in this particular update. But yeah, it's a uh, nice car. Nice to have uh, a Lancia Delta back in here. Very nice to see all the dials working on the dash and all that sort of thing. Yeah, very nice addition. Anyway, let's uh, let's move it on to the next car and uh, and see uh, see what we've got. Right, and now we're in the Muse S2000 GT1 Turbo. This is an N600 car. As you can see, it's a real handful. Either that or, or I've just got no skill. <laughs> <coughs> but still a good addition to the game, all the same. Yeah, I'm starting to have to concentrate now. After driving all those lower powered cars. It's a bit of a shock to the system, you know, getting in something like this.
nice to see the uh, is it defi, defi gauges on the uh, on the uh, pillar there. But you really have to have to be careful with this in the corners and under power. I mean, I've got traction control on, and it's still a tough car to drive. Uh, no doubt we'll be finding out uh, in our live streams uh, what it's like without traction control. You've got to drive it, haven't you? Obviously. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> yeah, I won't be doing. I won't be driving the other two cars that were in the update, as they are 15 and 20 million. Oh. Respawn me to the track. Uh, yeah, so I, unfortunately I don't have the uh, funds in the game to buy those. Uh, so I won't be driving those. Um, but yeah, like I say, we do a live stream on a Friday evening. We do half the stream that is um, single player. Me battling the AI. And then the other half we do... Uh, we have a, we have a, a lobby open... And we do lots of racing in lots of different classes of car, uh, at, at lots of different circuits. So, uh, yeah, come and join us for that. <clears throat> anyway, that concludes today's video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it to be notified next time I'm live streaming or when I upload new videos. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and I have a Facebook page. Links to those are in the description. Cheers for watching everyone, and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.